What's up? I'm Danny Myers of Bar Guy. I hope everybody out there being safe amongst this virus thing. Uh, check on your loved ones. Stay safe. I know battle rap is going through a down period right now. Battles have been postponed, canceled. So for all the battlers, including myself, when this thing does get back up and running, I don't know exactly when that'll be. Uh, we just all should come back and give you guys, the fans, some great battles, great bars. Nobody should be coming back choking. So during this downtime, we can be writing bars in our spare time or, or perfecting bars that we already had or rounds that you already had. All the canceled battles. You guys should be like coming back with a, a, a strong showing. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's that on that. Uh, URL Ultimate Madness Tournament is going down, I believe, in April. And I normally don't do predictions, but... I'm going to get on my Barsha Dominant stuff right now. Uh, quick tips. This tournament ain't going to all be about this pin. It's not going to just be about this. This is going to be about the impact and the memorable stuff that you can have on the minds of the judges. Because they judge you right there on the spot. And I've been in tournaments. Uh, I can tell you right now that stumbling and choking will definitely lose you the battle. You know what I'm saying? So... When you get that reaction, this is all for all you guys in the tournament. Once you get that crowd reaction, don't run the bars back. Just go to your next set of bars because you want to get off as many of your bars in this two-minute time limit. They are going to be very strict. So it ain't going to be none of that, yo, I got four more bars. Yo, let me get my... Nah, they not letting you get none of that off. You might be able to get off your last that your last line once that, that clock stops. But they have a strict cutoff time. So... It ain't going so if you running your bars back, you gonna just go back and say the same bars that you said, but then you're gonna ultimately not wind up saying the other material you had in the round, and that's gonna upset a lot of you. And it actually can throw you off mentally. Cause it'd be like, damn, I had this fire ass haymaker I wanted to save, and I might have to put it at the start of my nut my next round. But you gotta understand when you add that to your next round, you're not gonna be able to get off the, the, the next round, cause the time. Y'all got to, I'm the guru here, man. Listen to me. So, like I said, I normally don't do predictions, but we're going to be doing some Barsha Dominant stuff today. Squeako versus Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, uh, he's charismatic. He's he's witty. He's got charm. He's got bars. He's funny. Um, He's got he's got a little star quality. Glock 9. <laughs> man, when he, when he does that, I, I don't know why, but when he does that, I just be so hyped, man. Uh, Squeako is a vet a war veteran uh he's experienced he also can say some relatable stuff he's also funny i'm gonna go with squeako squeaking past your honor in the, in this first round squeako's gonna move on to the next round man and uh and i know a lot of people got your honor kind of i see a few people saying your honor gonna win this whole thing but they they put him in there with the with a beast man like squeako ain't no joke man so I got Squeako going on to the next round. Uh, Gunpowder Pat versus Wu Bando. Uh, Gunpowder Pat also has star power, also witty, he also uh, charm, relatable stuff that he says. He's got the star power, the star quality. Wu Bando is a young, up and coming killer. He's a young, up and coming killer. He has bars. He's got the the tenacity. Uh, the more I see him, the more he's looking like a vet. You know what I'm saying? I I, I seen Smack saying like he liked Wu Bando. A lot of the vets like Bando. Um, that's this tough, cause cause Gunpowder Pat can really say some stuff that'll stick with the judges. And I'm just and like I said, it's not all about this right here. It's like the impact you can have. I think Bando just probably gonna have too many lines, man. I I don't know, man. I don't want to contradict myself, but you know what? I'm gonna go with Bando. I'm gonna go with Bando right here. Bando's gonna move on and face Squeako. Jaden Nightwing versus Real Sick. Real Sick is also one of those. He's a new guy on the come up. I think he's from New Jersey. I had the honor of meeting him at the uh, Genesis event. Very humble dude. It looked like he's willing to learn. He's got bars. He's got the tenacity. He's going in there with one of the one of our stars, like like uh, Jaden Nightwing. If once he gets the the choking and all that stuff in order, he gonna be he's gonna be you know he's gonna have a nice career in this in this thing. Uh, however, if he doesn't get it under control, 
he gonna squander uh, a potentially superstar career away. So, um, Jada Nightwing got some of the slickest one-liners. He's not, he could just stand there and just talk and rap and people are laughing and going crazy, man. Um, it's, to me, it's it's gonna be all about execution right here with Jada Nightwing. I'm, I'm gonna go with Jada Nightwing edging out real sick, even though real sick is gonna shake that building. If Jay can execute, he's moving on to the next round. Woo! This next one, Kid Chaos and Luke Castro. Chaos might be, he might be the guy that's going to win this whole thing. Like, let's just put that out there right now. I, he, does have, he does have a flaw. He does have a flaw. Uh, I, I'm not going to put it out here. Can't give out no strategies. But he's one of those guys that I project is going to be in the Final Four. Uh, Luke Castro, fire. Uh, the, the shot start that shot clock. Uh, he's got the he's got the look. He's just he just know what he's doing in that ring, man. Uh, damn, that's that's tough. Hey, Luke Castro, it's on you. It's on you to beat Chaos, man. Because if you don't beat him and you let him get out the gate, man, it's like a pit bull, man. You don't let the dog out the gate when his kids outside, man. Cause he looking like he feel like if he can get past you, the rest of them dudes looking like food to him. It's up to you, Castro. If there's a time for you to prove that you you belong right here, this is it. This is money on the line. This is a tournament, and this is one of the guys a lot of people have winning. Who do I got winning? Can Luke Castro? I feel like Castro's the underdog. I, yeah, he's definitely the underdog. Can he pull off the upset? This is fire. I'm going with chaos. Forget that, man. I'm going with chaos, man. If I like, and I like Luke Castro. That's the bro. That's the bro. But chaos. Like I said, it ain't all about this, but he got those other things too. And I think his pin is is nicer than Castro's, even though Castro pin might be like right there under chaos pin. So I'm gonna go with chaos. Chaos is gonna go on the face. Jay the Nightwing. That's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. We're going on to the next side of the bracket. I think this is the east side. Um, the Fonz and Jay Kruger. L listen, man, I might have to be in a building for this. The Fonz repping Cleveland. Jay Kruger repping, uh, I think he repped Jersey. He is fire. If y'all haven't seen uh, Kid Chaos versus Jay Kruger, please go watch that. That was a PG classic to me. Um, Kruger is amazing, man. <laughs> this dude is amazing. Um, but Fonz is, listen, y'all, if y'all don't know the, if y'all don't know Fonz, Fonz is a monster. He's a bar monster. He's, he's, this dude's amazing. He got some of the best bars on the entire app, period. If y'all got the URL app, Fonz has some of the best bars on the entire app out of everybody. You know what I'm saying? They, they in the top. You know what I mean? I can't give him enough high praises. And I think people sleeping on him, man. Jay Kruger, he got that star power. That's the thing that Kruger got over Fonz. Fonz, I mean, no, I'm going to go. No, Kruger, just like I was saying about Castro, got, he got to contain Kid Chaos. It's your job to beat Fonz. Because if you don't beat Fonz, Fonz might mess around and win this whole thing. He might mess around. It's like, it's. It's like four of them. And I it's like four of them. Like, okay, we're gonna get to that. <sighs> Kruger got bars, man, but Fonz bars is crazier. You know what? I, I, I'm gonna go with Fonz. I'm gonna go with Fonz on this one. But but it's on you, Kruger, to stop this man. If you can beat Fonz, you might win this whole tournament. That's how you gotta look at this. Obviously, you have to win your first battle to even have a chance at winning the entire tournament. But Fonz is this is like this is like the prison, the prison fight. You gotta take out the biggest one first. Take him out first. Now you got a chance at, at getting all these other ones out the way. Get the toughest guy out the way first, man. That's chaos. That's 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 Fonz right now for me. Um, I got Fonz though. Easy to block Captain and Don Marino. Easy is nice. 
But I think this is an easy call. I got Don Marino just because of all the experience he has. However, the unforeseen force here is easy to block captain being not like so much in the spotlight and probably going to come out and say some inc incredible stuff, some amazing stuff, and being the underdog, when you're back against the wall, it brings the best out of you. We might see the best uh, easy to block captain ever. He might get Don out of there just because I say he's going to lose. <laughs> but I got to go with Don just on the fact that he stood in front of Geechee and, and, and Chess, and he stood in front of some, some heavy hitters, and he's still alive. Like, he, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody just killed him. Like, and he be out here working. That man works. I got Don Marino taking this over easy block captain. Oh, man. Brooklyn hands versus big hands. Um, two street-oriented guys. <laughs> you know, these guys are, they monsters that they block. They also monsters in that ring. Um, honestly, I feel like despite the, the, you know, Brooklyn hands like six, seven. He hands the size of frying pans. Listen, this dude is a monster, right? But I think people look at that and they look past the fact that he's actually a nice little lyricist. Like, Brooklyn hands, I pulled a pen out for you, man. You, you, you nice. I think Brooklyn hands bars and his overall presence. Like, it's like. His presence versus Big Hand presence. Big Hand, he, he definitely talked that gritty street stuff, and he's got bars. But I think when the fireball cancel out, Brooklyn Hand's fireball is going to knock Big Hand fireball out and keep going. He's got the double fire. He's got the red fireball. He's got the Akuma fireball versus Big Hand's regular fireball. Shout out to uh, the homie uh, Shaw. But, yeah. Brooklyn Hand's gonna move on. He's gonna face Don Marino. No. Did I get that right? No. No. Fonz is gonna move on and face Don Marino. That's it. Last one. Bad news versus Ace. I mean, um, Ace, you also one of them dudes that could potentially win this whole tournament. Bad news. It's on you to stop him. Uh, but you can. You can. Uh, lyrically, I got to go with Ace Amin. But overall, battle rap wise, bad news can win this battle. But I'm not going to pick bad news to win this battle. Uh, I think, honestly, the same thing with that I said for Jada Nightwing, Ace, I mean, this is ultimately going to come down to your execution. If you execute and you don't stumble, you get through your material, I got I got you went beating bad news. That's no knock to the homie bad news. But I think bad news for you, you're going to need to use all of your ring experience and you got to get to the bar. Y'all all, all got to get to the stuff quick. Y'all got two minutes. You ain't got all day to be setting up and setting up and setting up and setting up and then boom, haymaker. Like you, you could take a chance maybe with one of your rounds like that. But I think all y'all kind of got to get to it in this in this short. And 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 the judges are they they listening to a lot of bars, but the ones that are the most fired are gonna be ones that stick with them, and that's what's gonna sway their decision whether you move on and get this back. I got Ace I mean, moving on the face. Brooklyn hands. So so that's it. We got Squeako beating your honor. Well, not we, but me. Squeako's going to beat your honor, and he's going to move on and face Rubando. Jay Nightwing's going to be real sick, and he's going to move on and face Kid Chaos. Fonz is going to squeak past Jay Kruger. I don't, man, that's, I, that, I, don't, I don't even feel right saying that, but I, I, I do. Like half of me saying, dog, you know Jay Kruger's a star. You know this dude got it, 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 man. But I also know that Fonz, Fonz be making me say, yo, this dude is next. I, yeah, I got to stick with Fonz. Anyway, Fonz is going to move on. He's going to face Don Marino. Fonz is also going to beat Don Marino. Brooklyn Hands is going to move on to face Ace Amin. Ace, 
Ace is gonna be Brooklyn Hands. Ace is gonna face the Fonz. And I got <laughs> stay tuned, man. Hey, yeah, let's yeah, stay tuned. We go, we go, we gonna finish this up. Hey, leave y'all comment in, in below. Let me know. Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Who who y'all got winning these battles and why? You know what I'm saying? Battle rap slow right now. I'm going to be bringing y'all a lot of more content. We about to do some album reviews. We finna do some film reviews. We, hey, man, I'm about to uh, start doing this YouTube live with y'all so we can talk this stuff live, man. But, yeah, we're going to be 